Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kom Yasha Allah. Koholoyim la Yahawa Bashim Yahushai Bahashim, Rekaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's all here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's um, edifying by the Spirit. And um, I saw a brother uh, trying to think which one of the brothers that touched on this earlier. I was kind of listening to it, to it in the backdrop and didn't really know what was going on. But then I seen his story and I'm like, oh, this is what I was talking about. But um, it's in the technology section of the U.S. Sun. It says, were the U.K.'s first cyborg couple after electronic chips lets us communicate with our minds, but it ended in disaster. See? So let's get into some of the story and we'll just, you know, grab a couple of scriptures because this is something that's important, man. This is one of these last days prophecies that must um, come to, you know, it's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. And, and the scripture says, though, it's Terry, it says, you know, it says, wait for it. We waiting because we can see this thing playing out. OK, it says Professor Kevin Warwick, a small cylindric, cylindrical chip implanted in his arm. In August 1988. Now think about how long ago that was. That was like 35 years ago or so. Damn near 40 years, I think, man. So if they got this back then, you have to know what they have right now. Okay. It says the device around the length of a two-point coin. And you are and you know they're telling you now it's the size of a grain of rice. So they they've you know basically done brought the size down by damn near 95%. It says um, the device around the length of 2P coin allowed him to open doors and switch on lights simply by waving his arm about about why he walked around the cybernetics department in, at Reading University. Nowadays, he is referred to as the Captain Cyborg and considered to be the first biohacker, someone who makes alterations to the body with technology in order to make life easier. Then in 2002, he had a second implant put and which took his cyborg aspirations a stage further. The professor had a square silicone sensor called BrainGate implanted, which was around 0 0.1 of an inch wide. It was implanted in the nerves of his wrist for three months, which linked up his nervous system to the computer, which, is turn, which in turn allowed him to control a robot hand via the internet using his thoughts the same year, his wife, Irina, also had a similar chip implanted in her arm, which allowed the couple to communicate in astounding ways. He said, because we were elect electrically connected nervous system to nervous system, when she closed her hand, my brain received a pulse. Professor Warwick, the vice chancellor at Coventry University, described, described it as a basic form of telegraphic communication. Now the 69-year-old who, who is the vice chancellor of the Coventry University looks back on that time as being quite cool and good fun, even if it did end in disaster. He told Mail Online, at the time, nobody had done anything like that. That was, a, that was pushing the technology at the time. People obviously had implants for pacemakers. I remember, you know, pacemakers. I can re kind of remember pacemakers, you know what I'm saying, and things like that. But to do it in an enhancement, in some way was the, uh, was a different thing. I could be monitored as I moved around the building. As I went to the laboratory, to, the door opened. As I came down the corridor, the lights came on. To get the device put in me, to, to get the device put in him, his GP gave him a local anesthetic and used a corkscrew device to create a tiny hole and then simply stitched it in place. But was only the professor's arm for a couple of weeks before it was removed though, just long enough to show that the idea actually worked. He said this was a good thing because the small components were encased in brittle glass that could easily smash into pieces. At the time, the experiment threw up a number of ethical questions. Ethical questions, and um, it says, such as should be put into prisoners or even children so their whereabouts can be tracked. 
Hey, that, that's going way back. They was tracking your pet. I mean, they, they ate. See, Esau, he, he gets down. He, he definitely will get down on animals first. A lot of um, things that's in your household, your medicine cabinet, from damn lotion to fucking shampoo to whatever soap, whatever you're using, they're, they're using on animals. They've been chipping animals way back. They've been testing that out. They'll chip a damn dog and let his ass go in Wisconsin and they'll track his ass all the way to California. Cat, whatever. You know what I'm saying? A damn rat. You know, so this man been out here doing this type of stuff. Okay, it says, um, at the time, the experiment threw up a number of ethical... Oh, we already got that. It says, Professor Warwick said, though it opened up people's minds as to what the possibilities could be in the future, in some ways, it was a forerunner to Elon Musk's company Neuralink, yep, which aims to implant chips in people's brains that process signals transmitted to computer or phone. But Professor Warwick's actions and Neuralink are keen to find a cure for neurological ailments. That take away functional connections between the brain and the limbs, which could ultimately allow paralyzed people to walk again. The pioneering work done by Professor Ward has spawned a community of biohackers online who also meet who meet up at conventions to talk about their own implants. So people out here doing this, man. It says one such example is Neil Harbison from Spain, who has an implanted antenna hanging over his face. That allows him to hear colors as different musical frequencies. However, without consulting proper medical advice, performing implant operations can lead to some significant complications such as nerve damage and infections. Professor Warwick said, it worries me when I hear what people are doing. They do, they do take an awful lot of risk as they don't bother too much with the possibilities of infection. But I don't know. If I feel responsible, I was doing it as a scientific experiment. Experiment. No, you're not responsible, but you are definitely one of those people that were used to this. Most definitely. And when it talks about these particular types of infections, matter of fact, let me see if I can find this quick scripture real quick. Okay, so lucky Revelation 16 and 2, it says, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men, which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. So people that's, you know, going to, you know, that, that gets this implant because they're coming with it, man. They're, they're working on that shit fast as hell right now. Just think about this. This was 40 years ago. So almost. I can't imagine you. Hey, look, Esau is not playing no games. This man behind closed doors. He's 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 he's. We talking about the man that's, the, that's a proven lab-grown chicken, man. So <laughs> you got to be beware of this man. And, 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 and it, you know, just like they done with the uh, trial runs of COV-19, had people who go out and roll their sleeves up, it's going to be the casualties, you know, uh, that's going to fall from this thing. It's going to be, they're just going to look at it like, you know, casualties of war. It's for the greater good of man. That's what they was talking about when it came to the, um, that, that jump shot. The people that had died, it's like, yeah, it's going to be a percentage, you know, but, you know, now, now you playing lotto with your life because you don't know if you was going to be that, a part of that percentage of uh, 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 people that was just not going to, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go back into it a little bit. Uh, it says, um, he says he don't feel responsible. And that's that's Esau, though. Esau don't, don't, don't feel, they don't have no accountability for shit they be doing, man. It says, while the professor doesn't have any implants in him and doesn't plan on having any more, he remains interested in brain-to-brain -brain communication. As the experiments with the white... What, what's so wrong with, you know, you talking to somebody? If you want to know, you know, a, a person is going to have that privacy. The, the Lord created it where a person can have privacy in their mind. Like, you know, only the Lord knows the mind of man. You know what I'm saying? Here you go. You want to sit there and be like, oh, you know, I, I, you know, you could pretty much overall tell to somebody. I mean, you know, just with certain questioning, certain investigative skills, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? You can. I wouldn't want to, you know, nobody to be in my fucking head all damn day long. You know what I'm saying? Or I wouldn't want to be in nobody's head all damn day long. I wouldn't want to blow. No, you, you blow the ty that type of time, you know, because men and women, especially women. Oh, my. But men, too. 
you know, I mean, what she got on her mind, you, you know, because the scriptures talks about um, how the mind, roughly paraphrasing, it, it, it floats through all kinds of shit throughout the day, man. That mind is a is a busybody. It's, it's never ending. It's never stopping. So what are you going to do? You every thought that flows through the brain is just like, you know, what you're going to try and arrest it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to try and, you know, hold it, hold somebody accountable for every damn thing that fly through the head. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's useless, basically. OK, it says um, as the experiments with his wife indicated in the future, pulses of the on the brain as if it was being touched could act as some form of communication between two people and there you have it see now back then they had that that glass casing that could break you know they got some shit now where you're like uh-uh this will last you 100 years this will last you the, the life term of your life it's not breakable it's not gonna break we have a new type of you best believe they've been developing that man we talking about a man that 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 creates you know, um, missiles and, and, and nuclear weapons and things of that nature out of the, the, the rawest of materials of the planet that no one would even think of putting together, melting down, how much temperature it takes to, you know, these, you see, that that's why the scripture talks about um, him being uh, wiser than Daniel. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find that. See, this so-called white man, he's out there, man. This is his, his shit. Let me see if that's how it's worded. Yeah, Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. And that's the reason why they want to get off into your damn brain, too. They want brain to brain. They want to know exactly what's on your mind because they have that God complex. They want to know exactly what's on your mind, just like how the Lord, he knows. See, the Lord, he knows the mind of man. The scriptures talks about how man's goings of the Lord. How could they, then a man understand his own way? You see what I'm saying? So this man, he, he has that God complex. Matter of fact, we can get that in uh, 2 Thessalonians. Chapter 2, let's start at verse 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. This this is the man of sin, the son of perdition. He's out here all in the skies. He's in the seas, the oceans. You know, he's all over the place, man, just fucking with stuff. He's got the insects in the house somewhere. He's using a poison from 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 anything from a frog to a venomous snake. He's 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 he, he has a lab for it to test it. You put this with this. He's breeding different animals together. You put this with this, a damn tiger with a lion. And this man is is, is insane, man. When you talking about the, the real mad scientists out here. Verse uh, four, it says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. See? That's why this man has satellites and shit all through the skies. You know, he has cameras everywhere. You know, because when you notice cameras, they're, they're, they're up high and they're linked down because they're, he, he, he wants to look down upon you like how the Lord does. The Lord is on high. The Lord looks down upon the earth. This is what this man, he wants to do. He wants to put GPSs all in your cars and shit. He can tell how fast you're going. You can get into an accident and he can know exactly they, they, they could plug that shit up to a computer and they can see exact they can they can recreate the accident and see who who exactly was at fault down to down to the the the, the with no missing no beat man he, he wants to be all-knowing you know that, how you think you look at a food packaging especially here in the americas and you reading all that shit that's in whatever it is that you're getting how do you think they know all that how do you know they, they, you know, how they to mix and put these mixtures and chemicals together and stuff like that, man? This, this, this dude is a damn sorcerer. He's a wizard, man. He's a fucking witch. The scriptures talks about, you know, suffer not a witch to live. This man is all over the place. He's doing all kinds of stuff, man. Let's see what else they had in there. That was probably pretty much about it. This shit, hey, y'all keep playing games, man. Keep playing games and think that, um, um, that, that this, the, the soap, yeah, that was it. Think that the so-called white man is not out here ready to do this right here to you. Because this is all that it's leading up to. Let's get this revelation. 13. 
verse 16. Hey, they doing all this digital shit. All the money is becoming digital. And Jake going to get caught off guard. Jake going to get caught off guard. And it's not like a lot of Jake, they know. You ask Jake, what's the mark of the beast? And they're going to tell you it's, it's this chip. They'll tell you that over some of these Hebrew Israelite camps. But are they prepared? Are they ready? They, they just shun it away. You know what I'm saying? They're, oh, they, you know, they ain't, you know, we'll just deal with it when it comes. All right, well, if you don't have these scriptures, this wisdom and this knowledge, which the scripture says that, um, shall be the stability of our times, your ass going to be through. Revelation 13 and 16, it says, And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So this technology is here. This man is ready to put, put he's really ready to put that damn chip in your ass, man. This man is ready to implant you so he can keep up with your every move. So when you walk through a door, when you, you know, because everything is um, smart these days in a sense. You know, there's people out here that, that, that really have smart homes. You can go on your phone and your shit. You can turn on the thermostat. You can turn on, you know, have the oven come on at a certain time. Have the air conditioner come on at a certain time. The damn um, refrigerator is smart. The damn smart locks. This goes beyond your, your ring doorbell. The technology, some of these, you, see, just Jake in the hood, just, you know, just with regular shit or doing all kinds of stuff on a regular cell phone. But just think about the people that have billions of dollars, man. Millions of dollars that have smart homes that, you know, heat the pool and, you know, they, they got a guy, you know, they're doing self-driving cars now. They're doing flying cars now. So it's a lot of um, stuff that's out here, man, that we need to be, you know, just be aware of because it's so it's, it, it's becoming so. It's moving so quickly now. As a matter of fact, that goes off into um. Revelation 12 and 12, because this man about to get down. Let's get that. Revelation 12 and 12. And it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he, ha he knoweth that he had but a short time. So this man know that his, his days are numbered. So as his days are quickly coming to, to, to an end, he's quickly moving to try and reset everything so he can keep keep moving. Shit. You gotta be gotta be on watch with this dude, man. But anyway, let's um let's get chapter 14 and verse 9. Because if you get any of that shit within you, this is what's gonna happen to you. This is what this this is the judgment on that. And you got um Hebrew Israelite groups out here. You know, or at least one that I know of that'll tell you that if you get this, you can repent from it. No, that's not going to happen. You're going to get destroyed. Verse nine, Revelation 14 and nine. It says, and, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy in the, in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb see he says it's going to be poured out it's going to be poured into a cup without mixture you know how um you know you know, these especially these little ladies these ladies you know they, they'll drink something hard you know they'll drink a, a strong drink but they you know they'll blend it with some cocktail juice some orange juice, cranberry juice, some people like Coca-Cola in it, Pepsi, whatever, pineapple juice, something to tone it down so it'll go down smoother. No, this this gonna be something that you're gonna have to drink straight. That you, you know, you 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 beating on your chest with your fist, that, that that real put some hair on your chest type of drink. You ain't gonna have no, it ain't gonna be no mixture. It's just gonna ah, you know, that 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 complete burn, man. If you've ever, you know, had a <laughs> a shot of some some decent tequila or vodka or gin or whatever you know you just drinking it straight hennessy you know whatever it is you're light or dark so the lord is about to pour this out without mixture and people about to get this that business man so you have to be um be be beware man 
That's the reason why we do these lessons, you know. And all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Shai for showing us these things, man. Because we speak on these things, and, and you know, the apostles they've been speaking on this man for decades. Now all of a sudden, it's right before our eyes, man. We're seeing it. So you know, those those men are the prophets, man. Those men are the prophets of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. So you know, I just wanted to touch on this, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Hey, don't take no, don't take nothing that. This man is trying to be. Come on, man. At best, if you can, don't take this man's medicine. No, I ain't trying to get no medical advice, no nothing like that. But man, just beware. Pray to Yahweh about Shimia Shai, but most definitely don't let this man put no damn component in you, like they, they you know, putting together um, um, a new damn PlayStation or something. And you, you know, he ain't trying to trying to you know put a damn Xbox in you, man. This man want to know your every damn step, your every move, and this is how he's going to try and do it. And he's going to be able to turn you on, just like the console. He's going to be able to turn your ass on and turn you off. You're not connected. You know how you get a badass uh, internet connection? <laughs> you know you done paid the bill. You know, you got to call the company like, what's going on with my internet? It's not pulling up. You're not connected. Every damn device you is not connected. You're not connected. They can turn you off, man. They can turn your ass off. Anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame, inshallah.